People ask me about square footage and how many square feet, and I say there's no square feet in this house, there's only round feet. Homeowner Beth McCormick has made a career out of creating exotic feather art. Somehow it's fitting that a feather artist should live in the Onion House. The Onion House, as it's known, overlooks the dreamlike Kona coast of Hawaii. Surrounded by lush tropical flora, the house was handcrafted by architect Ken Kellogg and a small team of artists. The origin of the Onion House was my Auntie Dauphine. She wanted to live in a work of art. When she met architect Ken Kellogg, she met someone who was like a kindred spirit, who was building these wonderful living spaces that were out of the box. I was trying to look for the grass shack. I didn't find the grass shack, it was gone. But the idea of living with nature uh, still was in my mind because it was obviously a place uh, for that type of uh, architecture. Why bring a California house to Hawaii when a Hawaiian house is quite adequate and this is what this is, is a true Hawaiian house. Kellogg's inspiration for the house was all around him. The nearby palm trees are transformed into concrete arches over the fireplace. There are no formal walls around the house, only screens and stained glass windows, one of the few places in the world where this is possible. The idea of this house is that um, it's designed for the weather of Hawaii in, on the Kona Coast. Air temperatures there range from 70 to 80 degrees all year long, and there is no air conditioning system, but it's designed for the uh, winds that come off the ocean and the winds that come down the mountains at night. Gardens and lava rock spill through the walls as if they weren't even there. After a while, you lose all sense of being inside a house. Artists working with Kellogg tried to capture the beauty of the world outside by creating intricate details in every part of the house. He sent the plans over to a few contractors and he sent the plans back and said it couldn't be built. So uh, we went over there and built the darn thing and we even hired the neighbors around there to help part of the job. This construction project caused quite a bit of controversy and one woman was overheard to say, the thing looks like an onion. And word of this got back to my Auntie Dauphine who said, that's it, the onion house. I have lived in houses that had flat walls and square corners that were basically barriers that protected me from the environment. Here, I'm living out of doors. Beth is now an established artist, and though she says the Onion House is not the only reason for her success, the place was a major source of inspiration. It's here that I learned that art is not something you look at, art is something you live. 